Even if building is not your personal number one favorite thing in an MMORPG, anybody that plays MMOs will say player building has become a cornerstone feature in the most successful games. Some games like Arc Age restrict you to a predefined building location. Games like Final Fantasy XIV suffer from a scarcity of player housing. And then you get other games and other genres like survival games or games like Valheim where players can build pretty much anywhere they choose. No matter what your opinion on building is, if you want a game to be successful, you got to admit building needs to be there. And that's where Mainframe Industries uh, is really excelling because they are planning to have a building system which allows players to express themselves and create what they want, how they want, and create accessories that give buildings a certain level of personal character. They do want players to be able to tear down, rebuild, as opportunities, needs, skills all change. The world is never finished and neither is your plot. Players will need to mine, chop down trees and forage for materials in order in addition to hunting and harvesting the land. Now one interesting thing about Pax Day E is that players originally were only going to be able to claim one plot per player. However, some new statements have said that only paid accounts will be able to have a plot Additionally, they said that there may be some ability to acquire additional plots, and I don't want to jump the gun here, but it's starting to sound like a free-to-play freemium model in conjunction with their sub-token statement, and now there might be an ability to acquire additional plots at, through some level of pay to dot 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 mechanics. If you weren't aware of the token discussion, there's a video in the upper right hand corner. You may want to check that one out because like with all the games I cover, I want to show you all the things that are going to make you upset before you fall in love with the game so that you go into things with eyes wide open. Now with this, the only building we're talking about are claims in the Heartland Valleys and building is currently not allowed outside of those. What types of buildings or acquisitions can be done in the PvP zones, Mainframe is not ready to discuss yet. Since the plots will only be available in the Heartland Valley, only those players that you give permission to can access your stuff. Now, one thing Mainframe is doing, which is I think revolutionary, is they're allowing multiple players to conjoin their plots to create more space to build. So if you are one of those players who doesn't enjoy building, you can simply drop your plot, give your clan permission to build on it, and then enjoy the things the builders put on your property. There is a possible flaw in this, and the first is that if a player has placed a plot and then they remove their plot, the remaining building owners will have to find a way to fill that space. Additionally, it was asked what would happen if a person dropped a plot specifically to block a clan from building larger structures, like a castle. As these plots are dropped in the safe zone, there isn't really a game mechanic to force the person to move. Mainframe has said you'd have to talk to the person and convince them to move. Now, while Mainframe has said someone who dedicates their plot to blocking a clan instead of working with them will have a hard time playing, I'm throwing in an editorial opinion here. This seems really short-sighted on the part of Mainframe. We all know there are toxic controlling players. I can see this becoming a major issue. I would be in favor of some sort of system that temporarily grants plot entitlement to a clan if they are touching one or more sides of a plot, and this only has to be a short period of time, hours, maybe a day at most, so that the clan can get online and drop their plots accordingly. Uh, in if you have an opinion on this, I would ask you to leave the opinion in the comments below because these are the sort of things that if a large percentage of the player base says, no, mainframe, this is going to be a problem, they can start thinking of solutions now rather than building on their current idea and then not necessarily being able to fix this flaw in the future. And if you don't think it's a flaw and you think people should be able to grief in this manner by dropping plots, please make sure you take the time to leave a comment as well. This is a social sandbox MMO in development and maybe griefing in this manner is something people want. Now we do know that this is not gonna be a piece or a block system like Seven Days to Die or Minecraft. This is gonna be peace based 
Players that are familiar with Valheim are going to be familiar with this. Additionally, the physics system in the game will force structural integrity. Uh, you can build a house that is big, but you cannot build a house that is infinitely high. Now they understand that people are going to tear down and rebuild often, so they are hoping to make sure that the system is forgiving in terms of resources. In case you change your mind and what you build, you will get a little bit of your resource investment back. Now, can you build anywhere? And the answer is no. There are some restrictions on the building. You cannot build anywhere that would break gameplay. This includes building on the pre-made road network, you cannot build at the entrances to dungeons, and you cannot build underground. You are, however, however, allowed to build on water, and you can use conjoining plots to actually build a bridge. I am very interested to see how this works out. Pax de E really does become the first game that I've heard of in development that is focusing on player-made towns in the modern era. In my previous uh, short, I asked which games have done this well. I got a lot of games I need to look at to see uh, who has done this amazingly well. But this is really the first game I'm hearing about in 2023 that's focusing on player-made towns or, as you heard, possibly even player-made castles. The more people that share their plots, the larger the buildings you will be able to build. And with that, as you've been seeing in the background, this is the first of two building videos they're going to put out again pax de is a game in active development so we don't have all the answers so make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow this playlist because as we get more information about pax de i will be putting it up also remember i have pax de 101 if you're trying to dive more into the game you can get some information without having to go through a very long uh, frequently asked questions google doc although that google doc is an amazing read if that's how you want to get your information until then i will see you guys next time